Beach, sandy beach, beautiful blue waves just lapping at the shore. It sounds like the perfect place to visit for a vacation, right? Well, if you search for that scene online, you may find yourself fooled into paying for a place that does not exist. Yeah, so before booking your next trip, the BBB recommends a little research to help spot a scam listing. We're going to give you an advance on that. Sandra Guile from the Better <laughs> Business Bureau is here right now to explain how to protect yourself in this story for the BBB Wire. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning. Yeah. I got my bags packed. I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm and you clicking. want the place to actually be there. It's, you know, it when would you, be when very, you very nice. By the time I got down there after a 12, 18 hour drive down there, yeah. because you know. It would be nice to have a vacation, and it's. I'm looking at a dumpster. I'm looking at yeah. the backside of somebody's hotel. It right. just isn't true. You got an yeah. address typed into your phone. It led mm -hmm. you to a, mm -hmm. this. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. And unfortunately, what scammers love to do is they like to copy and paste both copy as far as text in that website, and they love to copy and paste those photos yeah. and yes. create their own websites. So as you're entering all of your information, they're stealing that information from you. So the whole idea is to get your financial information. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things that you'll see on that website that, that should raise your antenna? Mm -hmm. it, what should raise your antenna is, uh, number one, is typographical errors, grammatical errors, mm -hmm. uh, too good to be true type of things. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way that room could be X number of dollars sure. per night or per yes. week. It just sounds too lucrative to have all of that included for a really, really super low price. Not to mention having that beachfront property or that access, yeah. that direct access, because we all know this time of year, that's impossible to get by. I mean, yes. seriously, everybody's on vacation right now. Right. So what your best thing is to do is to go through maybe a local travel agent yeah. and inquire. You know, I'm looking to go to Florida. I'm looking to go to uh, the Bama Shores or Myrtle Beach or something like that that and I'm looking for this exotic location. Can you tell me what some of the best deals are and they can work with you? What about a, a TripAdvisor or Travelocity mm -hmm. or you know one of those kind of websites? A lot of times those are pretty much vetted but I would make yeah. sure that you're actually on that website itself. So mm. double check that URL, go to that HTTPS, look at that padlock signature, make sure you're on a secure website. And when you are Googling that website, you scroll past those few ads yeah, that are at the very top. top because a lot yeah. of times what scammers will do, they'll buy those up yeah. and that's how they spoof them and that's how they get your personal information. Right, I, you know, if you pay for something with a regular credit card, sometimes you, uh, they'll cover whatever fraud you come on, but mm -hmm. th I suspect these people are not asking for credit cards, <laughs> are they? No, that's a very, very good point, John, is that they'll use uh, alternate forms of payment. They want a prepaid debit card. They want you to wire transfer money in yeah. advance yeah. in order for you to get your reservation. So that should be another huge red flag. And if you come across one of these really wonky websites or something sounds really too good to be true, please use their scam tracker tool at scamtracker.org. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I've never tried that. I think it's just so hard right now because between gas prices and you got to mm -hmm. pay so much for your bags if you're going to take a flight. I mean, people are looking any way they can to save money because they want to get away. They want to go do Absolutely. something with their family. Yeah, especially this time of year. I'm not yeah. complaining about the hot weather because we had such a cold, miserable winter. <laughs> yeah. So I definitely want to make sure that, you know, I want to save a few dollars. So if they're promising some really low fees or a great deal or something like that, yeah, I'm going to look at it. But I want to make sure I'm looking through a legitimate source. Yeah. So please use us as a resource at BBB.org. 421-3015 is the number you can call us if you're not sure about something. We're there for you. That's what we're here for. Actually, we're the consumer's advocate and the business advocate. And check out scamtracker.org. Yeah, just remember, you may go on vacation, but scammers never do. <laughs> they <laughs> They're always John. looking for you. <laughs> Santa Guy, it's great to see you as always. Thank you. We'll talk again soon. Yes, absolutely.